Good evening, fellow Lasallians, and welcome back to Brewing Co. This is your third episode in our Brewing Co. podcast. For those who still don't know me, I'm Brother VG, your newest brother in school. And I'm very excited to talk about this new episode, the first for this new year. And we're here to bring you freshly brewed conversations on life, learning, and St. Lasalle. We all know how challenging 2020 has been for us. And so we're very hopeful for this new year. And what we have prepared for you this episode is really something that maybe a lot of us are having on our minds. So after having a challenging 2020, or some may have had a more or less moderate year last year. But as we transition to the new year, coming from our very long Christmas break, hopefully a restful Christmas break for all of us, the question is, how can we make the most out of this new year? We're excited to have the thoughts and the wisdom of three of our guests this episode. We have two students from our senior high school department, and we also have our chair from the psychology department and also a licensed psychologist on their own right, Doc Lovely, and our students are Pam and Clarice. So let's welcome them on the show, and I'm very glad that you are here. And we know that our schedules are all packed, but we're here, and we're here to talk about things that matter most to Lasallian. So good evening, Doc Lovely, Pam, and Clarice. Good brother. Good right. Yeah, and so yun nga, pa, as I said earlier, no, we're all here at the start of the new year, and we're thinking how we could make things very meaningful for us. Maybe in the past years, though, no, Sanay tayo na meron tayo New Year's resolution. We all have all these hopes for the new year. And we're here to talk about how we could concretely make the most out of this new year. But before that, before we go there, gusto mo munang kamustahin, kamusta yung Christmas break natin for our students na alam natin nagahabol ng modules, even for, for us teachers no? sa departments and also in our own subjects. We're all catching up on, on these modules. But for Pam and Clarice, how are you? How have you spent your... Christmas break, and kamusta kayo ngayon going into the final stretch of the first semester? Um, bro, ako, right now, okay naman. Still, may mga modules po na ginagawa, ganyan. And nung Christmas break and nung New Year's break, tinay ko talaga yung chance na yon para magpahinga from ACADS and all. And then ngayon, since balik na tayo, yun, uh, nag-grind na ulit sa modules po. Right. Nag-start ka na ba sa, for this January? Oh, po bro, ang dami ko pong hinahabol kasi hindi ako gumawa <laughs> Kaya ngayon nagahabol po ako. Sana yeah, kaya no. eh. Parehas tayo. Kasi tama nga naman pag Christmas break. Break nga eh, di ba? So, sige. Pam, how about you? Uh, nakasama ko yung mga group members ko during the new year. Kasi nagpe-prepare po kami for group activities. And uh, nakaban ko sila kahit nung Christmas and nung new year nakasama ko sila. And ngayon po is on time naman po ako dun sa aking mga subject requirements and nakakahabol yes. naman. May mga ilan na din po natatapos. Yeah. So salamat pa kasi tama no, buti, buti naka, nakahabol ka and on time ka dun sa mga requirements natin. Actually, Doc Lovely on our end also as partners, di ba? Parang ako personally, no? Ganun din yung pakiramdam ko na nung Christmas break, break talaga. So parang sometimes it's part of maybe my coping mechanism. Pero how, how was your Christmas break, Doc Lovely, on your end? Kamusta po? Okay naman po, uh, brother. I've tried to accomplish all of the tasks before the break so that I could experience totally that it's a Christmas break. Yun po, uh, so sa bahay lang din, tapos celebration. So masaya naman po despite of uh, a new setup ng Christmas. Tama. Bagong-bago po noon and I'm sure our, our young Lasallians also, our parents, our Lasallian partners, all of us experience something new. Diba? Na it's not as if we're used to that. Diba? And it's good that we're all here right now na New Year ulit and we're very thankful na magkakasama pa rin tayo at least virtually sa school. I'm very curious about this kasi ako rin, as a, as a teacher, no? as a brother, as a teacher, there's some sort of adjustment from the break, you know, parang okay, wala ka talagang gagawin. You try your best. Minsan healthy pa yun na you try your best to detach from the work. Even for our students, diba? So how are you coping up now na papasok na tayo dun sa final stretch ng semester tapos alam natin na <laughs> di ba may mga kailangan habulin. So yon, let's go let's go first kay Pam naman. Pam, paano ko nagko-cope from the break na you know nagpahinga tayo and then ngayon na new year? Uh, ako po bro, nagko-cope ako kasi alam niyo po yun nandoon yung spark na ay matatapos na yung sem na to. Counting push pa ganun. So Kanya yun nag-encourage po sa akin na gawin ko yung best ko dun sa mga remaining academic tasks or kaya naman sa mga extracurricular ko po, ayun. 
Right? Talagang parang nandun yung drive mo na, okay, tapusin na natin to. Right? Na- nahirapan ka ba dun sa part na yon Or parang was it easy for you to say na, okay, tapos na yung bakasyon. <laughs> Monday na ulit. start na ulit tayo ng work. Was it easy for you? Nahirapan po ng konti. Ganun. Nasanay po <laughs> okay. kasi tayo na pahinga, ganyan. Nakikipaglaro lang po ako sa dog namin. And nagbabasa ng mga books po. Yun. Yeah, and thanks for being honest. Actually, ako rin. <laughs> Mahirap pala yun, mag-transition from, from the break, di ba? Na parang, okay, Christmas break, tapos okay, trabaho na ulit sa Monday. How about you, Clarice? Um, ako, brother, uh, may board po kasi ako sa room. And then, andun, nilagay ko lahat nung kailangan pang i-accomplish, ganun-ganyan. Para po makita ko kung ano pa yung mga hindi ko nagagawa. And para ma-motivate talaga sarili ko. Right. And then... Siyempre, helpful din po talaga yung sa classmates and sa friends ko. Pag halimbawa po sa messenger, and very helpful po yung mga words of motivation nila sa akin. Isa po yun sa mga bagay na nakapagpasipag po din talaga. Mas nagaganahan po din kasi ako gumawa. Like, um, we set up video conferences, ganyan po, and then we'll help each other pag sa mga ibang modules. Ayan po. Right. Ang ganda naman na meron kang parang support system mo dun sa, sa academics, no? Pero on a personal note, tulad ng dalawa nating students, no? Parang from the break, it's, a, it's an effort. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's an effort to actually go back to the routine. So from the break, we nag-enjoy tayo and all that. And I was talking to some of our Lasallian partners. Sabi ko, naku, siguro normal naman itong nararamdaman ko, no? Nararamdaman natin na, okay, from the break, masaya. Tapos ngayon, we were back to the reality. Di ba? Na we need to get things done. And sometimes, it causes different things, no? Doc Lovely, on your end po, as a psychologist po, how do we explain or understand that certain experience na how do we get out of that quote-unquote slump na, you know, nag-passion tayo. And so, kung baga kung face-to-face pa, we drag ourselves to school, right? I think that's a very normal experience. So, what could you say about that po? That's really normal po, uh, brother, lalo na po na parang yung mindset natin na parang the old is gone, the new has come. So uh, by 2021, the old academic uh, task and yung po mga nakapending na workloads and all ay hindi na ipupurso on the new year, which is 2021. And then somehow po, uh, it's really normal that we feel na, oh, ay meron pa nga pala ako mga kailangan pang gawin na hindi ko natapos on the year 2020. So, So, yun po, brother Ed, uh, yung thinking po natin na by 2021, bago lahat, bago ang gagawin, bagong simula, and all. Uh, that's, of course, affects us psychologically, mentally, emotionally. And it's really normal to feel that way. But of course, we also need to consider that we need to take action. We still need to continue those pending tasks, requirements, even though we have this thinking na last year pa ito eh. So, yun po talaga yung siguro uh, masasabi ko na nagiging source. Isa sa source kung bakit nagkakaroon pa rin ng adjustment. And of course, talaga po namang napaka buti sa kalooban noong ikaw ay nagpapahinga during a holiday. So, how we wish that uh, on our entire life, we are just resting. But of course, Of course, as a responsible individual, we still need right. to do those tasks because it's a part of our responsibility right. for teachers and, of course, for our students. Right. So, ang ganda nun, parang it's also normal that we have to go back to how it was, di ba? And kanina si Clarice nagkikwento about having Zoom conferences, having parang support groups on Messenger and all that. How about you, Pam? How do you, how do you plan to actually get things done now in the new year? And how do you think it could be meaningful for you? Ano yung mga personal na, okay, ito yung mga gagawin ko to get back on track, to make this new year a fruitful and hopeful year for myself? Ano yung sayo? Uh, ako naman po, bro. Di ba si Clapo is may board siya, ganun. Sa akin naman yeah. po, the night before that day, kunwari, uh, mamayang gabi, pe-prepare ko na ba anong gagawin ko, ano yung kailangan ko pong matapos, ano ba yung oras ng pahinga ko, kasi yun po talaga yung kailangan, uh, mga snack yeah. break, ganyan. So, para po makapuli accomplish ako ng mga kailangan ko, nagagawa ko ng mga list na to. And parents ko po, and yung mga kapatid ko na nasa bahay, ini-encourage talaga nila ako na, uy, tapusin mo na, ganyan, para pag ganitong date, kapag mapahinga na tayo, ganyan. Yan. Ang saya naman, may support group ka rin sa bahay, no? And for you, what would be the best thing to get you going, di ba? Sa ano yung ginagawa mo on a personal after you set your to-do list, ano yung nag-motivate sa'yo? Bakit mo siya gustong gawin? Actually, tuwing umaga po, talaga yung nag-motivate sa akin is yung prayer. As in yung uh, pagkabangon ko po, ang una na ginagawa is yung pagdadasal, kahit short lang po. Kasi yun po yung gumigising sa akin na 
parang kasama ko si Lord, ganun, and gagabayan niya ako kahit ano man po yung harapin. Then yan, na, nagsistart na po ako sa panonood or pakikinig ng mga podcast din po na nagmamotivate sa akin uh, while exercising or kaya naman kapag nilalaro ko lang yung dog namin dito. Ayun po. Ayun, sa'yo naman may nilalaro ka rin dog. Sana yung podcast, bro and code, din yung pinapanood mo. <laughs> yeah. Sige. Salamat, Pam. How about you, uh, Clarice? Paano yung, di ba, yung mga Zoom conferences? Paano mo ginagawa yun? Anong usually nangyayari kapag nag-Zoom conference kayo? And do you plan to continue that for the new year? Um, bro, bale, di ba po sa Messenger may mga group chats tayo and everything, yan. And then magsaset po kami ng iba kong classmates na super close ka din po na, okay, this day, itong time, mag-call tayo, ganyan, and then we're gonna do the subject. Hindi naman po sa, like, cheating or ano ha, like, if ano lang naman, if, <laughs> may, alam, <laughs> if may alam po akong uh, lesson or topic na naguguluhan sila, Um, mm-hmm. magtuturo po ako and then they're gonna do the same po. If nalilito po ako sa subject na to, sila naman po magtuturo, ganyan. And then, hindi po kami titigil hanggang hindi po gets nung lahat ng nandun. Which is good naman po kasi lahat po is natutulungan po talaga and lahat po nagiging productive. For next time po, for this year, um, for sure po, gusto ko po po siyang ituloy kasi I can see na very helpful naman po siya pagdating sa akin and sa pag-iintindi ko sa lessons ko and also mm-hmm. sa pagsagot po ng mga modules. Wow. Sobrang organized yung dalawa, no? And parang na-realize ko dun sa, dun sa mga shinare nyo, parang there's a certain sense of support, there's a certain vibe na magkakasama pa rin kayo ng mga friends nyo, kahit magkakaiwalay. No? And Doc Lovely, my question also for about that, po. how does that help? How does being together, and syempre ngayon, ironically, no? parang our students are sharing na parang being together online is very helpful for them. But how can we do that also in this new setup for, you know, online education, distance learning. Paano naman yung, for example, students who are not inclined towards really getting together online, di ba? For example, talaga mag-isa sila. Ano yung makakatulong sa kanila to cope up with their requirements, with their stress, with their different challenges that they would be able to face? Totoo po yun, brother. Kasi uh, there are some students or there are some kids or it could be an adolescent na not comfortable having as simple as uh, yung iba ayaw mag-open kami during a Zoom. Ano, ayaw nila makita yung ano nila. Or there are some naman na they really enjoy. But what I could say with that po is of course uh, connecting with others. The sense of connectedness po talaga yung kailangan. But there are some individuals po na meron talagang search na silang coping mechanism. Uh, mechanisms or way on how they would to be able to accomplish a certain task or how mas magiging productive sila. So it depends upon the person kung ano po yung mas effective para sa kanila. But there are some po na mas gusto po aka, as to what Clarice have mentioned po kanina, na mas gusto naman nila yung nakikita sila sa video conference, nakakakita-kita sila doon at yun ay mas effective para sa kanya and so okay lamang din naman po yun. Iba-iba po kasi talaga. There are some na into writing naman. Mas gusto mm-hmm. niya yung nag-write o yung iba naman gusto talaga na nakikita yung mga kaklase through a video call or iba through phone call. So, yun po. Yun po. But of course po, ang, ang pinakamahalaga po kasi doon is meron po tayong parang avenue or way on how we would be able to connect not just with others but as well as with ourselves. And that's what yeah. really matters po sa ngayon. Yeah, tama po. Thanks for that, Doc Lovino, na parang talaga kanya-kanyang style and mechanism. But at the same time, the common grounding is really for us to have an outlet or an avenue where we could express ourselves, be with ourselves, and also connect with others. No, And I think that that need for us to connect with each other, I think that's something very valid, especially now as we look forward to hopefully a good year, di ba, 2021. And I'd like to ask the three of you po, and maybe for me, <laughs> Parang, how do we plan to make this new year meaningful for all of us? Yung personal po na, I plan to do this so that this year will be meaningful. What do you plan to do po? Doc Lavi, can I start with you? Would it be okay? Uh, siguro po, brother, since I have yung mga workloads kasi ngayon, so I need to finish it and all. Ang naging ano ko po kasi talaga, brother, ngayon is uh, mag-ipon po eh. Yun po yung target ko talaga ngayon. To really save for the future and to be more organized. Uh, wag magpa-procrastinate. So kung kayang gawin, gagawin ko na. So para hindi ako ma-stress kapag medyo malapit na yung pasahan or a deadline. Kasi meron po din akong nararamdaman din na sense of relief 
relief kapag nakakamdaman kong natatapos siya. And somehow, it is very rewarding po for me. So, siguro po yun po yung mga plans ko na talagang i-apply sa life ko. Not just for this year, but of course, hopefully po ay maano ko po talaga yun. Ma-embody yeah. <laughs> sa akin. Tama. Salamat po, Doc Lovely. Talagang ang ganda ng goal niya, very concrete. Huwag mag-procrastinate para meron tayong natatapos at the, that sense of achievement na meron tayong natatapos. How about for you, Pam? Let's go uh, with your plans. What are your plans for this new year? How do you plan to make this a fruitful and meaningful year for you? Uh, for me po, bro, siguro yung one main goal ko po is to bond with my family more. Kasi diba po kami ni Clarice, magiging college student na kami uh, next school year. And hindi po namin alam kung lilipat ba ng school or what. And ginagawa po talaga namin ng paraan para kahit after na ng, ng araw na yon magkitipag-bonding lang, ganyan. And ang um, way ko po is para magawa yon is proper time management. Kasi diba, madami po akong mga hawak ngayon, akads, popular, ganyan po. So dapat talaga, alam ko yung time needed for each task. Kaya na, masunod ko yon kasi minsan meron ako yung feeling na ay nakakatamad gawin, ganun. From nakakatamad gawin po is yung nagda-drive talaga sa akin is yung accomplishment po na makasama ko yung family ko, matapos lahat yung gawain ko. And yung pakiramdam na ay nagawa ko to kasi ginalingan ko and nakuha ko yung grade na to kasi ay magaling ako sa ganitong skill. And yun po talaga yung nagda-drive sa akin para maging mas meaningful yung year po. Right. Ang ganda naman, para nakita ko yung interconnectedness no, na yung effort mo sa school, at the same time, the motivation to be with your family. And so, to do that, you have to manage your time well. Kung gusto mo talaga silang makasama, di ba? Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Very meaningful. How about you, Clarice? Ako, brother, uh, katulad po ni Miss Lovely, ayoko na po talaga mag-procrastinate. Sinabi ko din po to last year, sana matuloy na siya kaya. <laughs> Pero ayun, ayoko na po talaga mag-procrastinate. Kasi katulad nga po ngayon, hindi ko po nagawa yung mga rinano kong gawin last year. So ito, mm-hmm. marag ako ngayon. So this year po talaga, pagdating sa ACADS, I really don't want to procrastinate anymore. Kasi gusto ko din po maramdaman yung katulad ni Miss Lovely po, yung sense of relief na, oh, okay, tapos right. na. Hindi po yung masistress ako na, ano, ganito, alaga rin yan. So super nakastress po. Ayoko na po mag-procrastinate. And then, pagdating naman po sa friends and sa family ko, gusto ko lang din po talaga ma-develop yung better relationship ko sa kanila. Ayun, if may time po ako, free from ACADS or sa extracurricular activities ko po, I'll do my best to bond with them. Kasi nga, katulad din po sabi ni Pam, magka-college na din po kami. If hindi na po online, sana po, umokay na po ang ano natin with COVID. Sana yeah. hindi na po online ang class. And if ever mangyari din po yun, of course, may possibility po na malayo ako sa family ko and sa friends ko. So ayun, kahit po through online lang, kahit ngayon pa lang, I make sure na I give them time. And then, pagdating na po sa sarili ko, ayun, I just really want to be a better version of myself din po since um, new year, new beginnings and all. So kung ano man po nangyari last year, it's all over now. I just want to have a new start, kumbaga, and make right. things better for me. And I hope everybody does that din po. That's right, no? Na parang, I hope this year becomes really a new year, not just a duplication of last year, diba? We, we know how challenging and difficult it was. And thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, no? Na, ako rin habang nakikinig sa inyo, parang dami ko rin natutunan. And I could relate perfectly, diba? Na, let's not procrastinate. Ako rin, I'm actually working here in the office and yung mga to-do list, are sometimes if you look at your to-do list, oh, ang dami pala. Diba? And it causes stress, but at the same time, it could motivate us. Na parang, okay, let's check this, get this done. Diba? But at the same time, ang ganda rin ng mga shinier nyo na no matter how much work we have to do, that that dimension of being connected with others should still be there. If I could um, maybe summarize what you said about that. Na, yeah, marami tayong kailangan gawin. We have our goals. But part of that is also our well-being and our connectedness with other people. No? And thank you for being very honest with your, and being very casual with your sharing. No? And just like our other episodes here in Growing Co., we're going to finish by me asking you several questions. That It's, it's a bit of a challenge, but madali lang naman. I'm sure madali lang for you guys. Let's start off with Pam. Okay, first question, Pam. What is one goal that you have for yourself this 2021? To uh, be fit more and to bond with my family and friends more. Okay, to bond with your family and friends more and of course your total well-being. Number two, give one word that you hope 2021 will be. Epiphany. <laughs> wow, epiphany. Okay. Okay, Doc Lovely, kayo po. 
your one wish for this year, 2021? Uh, peace of mind and hope. Yeah, and peace of mind and hope. Ako rin sana, ganyan din yung mangyayari sa mundo natin yun. Number two, one tip for students who are stressed. Uh, don't <laughs> think of it too much. Because uh, it, it is sometimes the mind that causes stress. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Two questions for you, Clarice. First question, your favorite quote for the new year? New year, new beginning. <laughs> okay, very good. New year, new beginning. Salamat. And lastly, your ultimate tool for productivity? Um, do it before the lock period. <laughs> okay, do it before Sorry, the lock period. Sorry, but I'll pray. Sorry, but yun po yun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tama. Get naman, gets ka naman namin na gawin natin bagong mag-lock period. Sige. So, um, maraming maraming salamat again, Doc Lovely, Pam, and Therese for, for spending time. I, I really enjoyed this conversation. It's nice na no, parang small pieces of learning we were able to impart with our Lasallians and friends who are watching Grow Co. So, I wish you all the best in all your endeavors. No, I'm sure as Lasallian partners... Doc Lovely and all our Lasallian partners, good luck for the new year. We know that a lot of our to-do lists, our to-do items would pile up, but kaya natin yan with little motivation from our friends also. And of course, our students, Clarice and Pam, thank you very much for joining us. If you want Lasallian partners and friends or students to be on the show also, or kung gusto nyo pa ulit maging guests sa show, pwede kayong mag-suggest, just let me know. So thank you very much. Hopefully, this new year really becomes a new beginning for us, no? And to all our viewers in this show and in Growing Co., thank you for being with us in this episode, our third episode. And we hope to still have you in our succeeding episodes. If you want to have your friends or your loved ones or your classmates, your best friends, gusto nyo maging guests sa show natin, you could actually give their names to us by clicking this link or um, scanning the QR code that you see on your screens. And... They will be with us and we're going to talk about things that really, really matter most to you. Make sure to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends also. So they also support our podcast and have different conversations that we could brew for them. So I hope to see you around. We hope to be in school. I, I think that's very clear. I hope to be in school. And thank you for for joining us and for viewing this episode of Growing Co. So make sure to click that like button and that notification bell so that you would know when our next episode would be. And that's it for us. Once again, I'm Brother VG and this has been Growing Co. where we serve you freshly brewed conversations on life, learning, and St. LaSalle.